Hi guys, so I feel it my duty to call out right-wing groups masquerading as grassroots movements. What I mean by this is political strategists or political parties even will set up groups that pretend to represent ordinary citizens or the public. They will use names like the Taxpayers Alliance, giving the impression that they do exactly what they say on the tin. These are in reality politically motivated organisations that receive funding from business or political parties to push an agenda on behalf of their donor or political backers. Now the media unfortunately never really point this out when they're invited to speak. Here's an example of GB News inviting on a spokesperson for the Taxpayers Alliance who believes that the furlough scheme needs to end. Why does it need to end? Well, because it's too expensive. But what do you think her real motivation is? Thousands of jobs are at risk as the furlough scheme winds down. One firm in five now said they plan to cut jobs as the government phases out the scheme. Employers must now pay 20% of the wages covered by the furlough instead of 10%. The scheme will end completely from the start of October. Well, Danielle Boxall is the media campaign manager at the Taxpayers Alliance. Good morning, Danielle. Is now really the right time to um, bring furlough to an end? Good morning. Yes, um, I think... If you look at the numbers of the amount of people on furlough, uh, at the end of June, it is down to 1.9 million, which was the lowest it's been since the start of the pandemic. I think that's a good sign. I think it shows that, you know, the economy is getting back to normal. I mean, from the end of this month, all the four nations will have fully unlocked uh, from coronavirus restrictions. So I think it shows that people are going back into work and that the economy is getting back on track. So I think that the uh, furlough scheme should come to an end because just of the enormous cost of it. You know, this is a um, very expensive policy. Uh, if we extended it till the end of the year, it would cost 18 billion pounds. Isn't it interesting how whenever we're spending money for people, it's a cost. But when when you're spending money on something like Brexit, it's an investment. I'm, I'm always flabbergasted by this, you know, Spending money on people, that's too expensive. But spending money on vanity projects, that's an investment, like Boris Johnson's latest one, the yacht. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, why are you talking about Brexit here? What has Brexit got to do with this? Well, the Taxpayers Alliance is not really about taxpayers and it's not really a, about an alliance. The Taxpayers Alliance is a pressure group. It was formed in 2004 to campaign for a low tax society. But you're probably still wondering, yeah, but it's, you know, a group of taxpayers, ordinary people who are concerned about um, where their money is spent. Well, not really. The group was founded by political strategist Matthew Elliott, who founded Eurosceptic think tank Business for Britain, as well as Conservative Friends of Russia. <laughs> That's interesting. Big Brother Watch and no to AV, a campaign during the 2011 alternative vote referendum. Now, AV was, the alternative vote was um, a campaign to change, or a referendum to change the political system in the UK from first past the post to something a bit more similar to proportional representation. Now, it wasn't full proportional representation, but it definitely was a step in the right direction. Something more democratic. And of course, this organisation was against that. Now, of course, it masquerades as a grassroots movement, you know, pretends to be ordinary citizens concerned about democracy, when in reality it's uh, funded by big business or the Conservative Party. In 2015, Elliot was appointed chief executive of, we're here, wait for it, Vote Leave campaign to promote the British withdrawal from the European Union. These people, once again, this is not grassroots. It pretends to be grassroots, but it receives funding from, it seems, uh, uh, political parties or businesses. Now, it's difficult to find out how much money they receive and where the money comes from because, unfortunately, well, the Taxpayers Alliance is not really a grassroots movement. It says here funding, the Taxpayers Alliance is constituted as a private company limited by guarantee in the UK. As a small company, it is exempt from audit. So <laughs> it's not a grassroots organisation, it's a private company. And it's set up in order to probably hide the figures, avoid 
scrutiny. And of course, they're invited on to GB to explain why the further scheme needs to end because it's expensive. It's a waste of taxpayers' money, probably. These people don't care about workers. They don't care about the economy. They don't truly care about government spending. They care about protecting businesses, certain businesses, of course, not all businesses, but about making sure that their businesses pay less tax. That is the motivation here. It's not about ordinary citizens or the public. It's about protecting certain businesses. This is how it works, guys. Political parties or, f or rich, don rich donors to political parties set up these organizations pretending to be of the people, grassroots, but they are anything but. They're about protecting certain interests. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?